What's up guys, Mac Ho Michael just pulled up. He's outside. We got a bunch of stuff that we need, so let's go take a look, see what he's got. Y'all come on. What, a, what do you think about it, Wally? What do I think about what exactly? What do you think about everything today? Oh, boy. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Gonna find out, huh? Gonna find out. That's right. We definitely got some stuff we need. Ain't that cool? A little Matco vice grip set. That's not for sale. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> What did you think about last week's video with the baby shark thing? I gave me a laugh. It was stuck in my head all day. <laughs> hey, but, Wally, dude. Wally has already got to the point where he's downloading the remix version of that, the oh. trap <laughs> remix. Yeah. So he he's that into it, huh? Hey, we've got one of these for big trucks <laughs> that fits over even twenty four fives. <laughs> Them things right there, or if they cost. They're white and gold. They're worth the money. I never had one, um, but now that I now that I see it, I wish I did. They're awesome. I can't tell you how many times I was standing on a tire or on a rim or you know milk crate, just whatever I had at the time that that would have come in handy. Yep. But uh, I think it's interesting. I, I got it on the truck. I mean, I know it's not new by no means, but it's new to the truck, so. Oh it is God. definitely nice. Ours, like I say, is of course wider because of the tire. Right, but yeah. man, like it didn't used to hurt me very bad jumping off tires. But as I've gotten older, it's <laughs> it sucks. So it hurts a little bit more, huh? Especially when your knees go to sounding like tearing a piece of paper when you go to bend them like like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well. <laughs> That's what we need, ain't it, Wild Bill? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of, is that on sale this week? I know everything on the table's on sale. Uh, and then we got some promotion stuff there. Well, yellow creeper today, huh? Yellow creeper. There you go, Wally. Go from black to yellow. That would have been handy the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody needs one of those. Well, but I've got one. Really narrow. And Wally's got one, but on a Dodge Neon, we found out both of ours is too thick to go in there. <laughs> so we did it the redneck way with a pry bar. <laughs> the redneck way. Oh, yeah. right. Used a pry bar on that bad boy. That's great. You do it on a Nissan and it snaps the freaking ear off. Oh. I swear, I hate Nissan tensioners. <laughs> Snap, they snap with a wrench. Yeah. Oh well. We don't need that. Well, I don't work on Nissan anymore. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Bill, do you know everybody's gonna ask? Ask? What? Everybody's gonna ask. Look here, Wally. Everybody's gonna ask why Wally has this shirt on. And you have this shirt on. I'm saving mine and keep from getting dirty for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know everybody's gonna ask, Bill. So Wally, does that mean you're more of a team player? Yes, I'm more of a team player. I can hold off from the grease long enough. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Well. Just keep my shirt from getting dirty. Oh, I don't believe that. Just listen to what they say. I don't believe that. <laughs> Well, they don't wear it like 9 o'clock in the morning. Come on now. Check this out, Wally. I thought that was pretty interesting, so I'll put it on the truck. You know, I, I don't like digging through 100 different sets. Well, I guess it ain't 100. It's like 75 piece tap sets what I had, but tap and die. No calibration needing self-adjusting to any pitch and size within range. That right there would be handy to have. Hmm. 
Hmm. Never use grips to tighten handle A. That's never, why I messed up from the beginning. Never use grips. I, I bet that's something about like mice grips. I, I'm going to say something, all right? Let's just say flyers. That's why I just grew up. <laughs> I'm going to say that's not a USA made tool, just by uh, reading the writing on there. Well, probably not. Oh, it, it's probably a good one, though. It's made in Israel. So it probably is pretty good. <laughs> I knew that because I bought it at the tool show. I should have known that. I remember talking to them. I guarantee it's better than Chinese. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably pretty good metal in that too. Oh, just an egg pressure. Yeah, I got a kit too. It's on down. Yeah. That's your old school right there. Yeah, that's your old school. Sometimes old school is the best way. Yeah. It's usually the most dependable. <laughs> An well, easy way. It worked for so long, why not? Continue using it, right? Well, I yeah. got one of the new piston ring compressors. The last time I built the engine, I wasn't really impressed with it. I ended up going back to one of these. Have you ever used one of the ones that's cut or, or machined to certain vehicles? Mm -mm. I, I don't like a common yes. So they, there's a company that makes them that, that machines them to a certain year model and make cars. And when I was working at Toyota, we, we got one, and it was just nice not having to set it every time. Of course, it's tapered, so you start the piston in it, and you get it down to the, to the bottom of it, and then you just sit it over at the head, or not the head, but the block, and just push down. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to worry about, did I, did I tighten it with the, the piston ring halfway out and break the piston ring? Or, so I, I really like those, too. It takes a lot of the guesswork out. Yeah, unfortunately, you got to, you gotta buy a lot more, right? Because unless you're doing like I was and working on one brand, it don't really help you. But let's say they have with the Cummins, you can uh, load the piston and then put that ring around it, set it right off in the bore, and it just go. Yeah, that's, into what, it. that's what this one did. You put a little oil in there. But, uh, you know, you put all your rings and stuff like that on your piston. And some people use like the end of a hammer just to hit it down in there. I just always use my two thumbs, and it just every time went in there. And I like it a lot better than the, that those styles, but unfortunately, if you want one for all make models, you gotta have. <laughs> it get expensive. You gotta have something like that, right? Looks pretty nice, ain't there? Mm -hmm. Very nice, set, actually. On sale for eighty nine dollars. Eighty nine dollars. Well, that thing will look pretty after you kick it under a truck a few times, Wally. It will look gorgeous. Use this one as a pry bar, that one as a toothpick. This one I might throw at Bill. Uh, <laughs> Better eat your weedies before you start throwing stuff. Uh, Ooh. Uh, I'll just blame it on somebody else. Well, there's that guy that's going for the shop. <laughs> All diesel yeah, stall. You'd rather slap clay in the face than throw that at me. Woo! Bill said he knows diesel wouldn't do that. He plays ball with diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. All right, guys. Well, we're going to turn this off. And, uh, well, I know somebody's going to ask. So I might as well go ahead. The I'm assuming all the vice grip set goes in the bag, right? It goes in the bag. I'll sell this week in our region for $110. Wow. wow. All of that for $110 in our region. That's not bad at all. That's, that's, that's not bad at all. I sell a good many of them when I get them, so. I don't have any welding marks on them yet. <laughs> they will have if we get them. Pair I've got, got welding marks on them. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to turn this thing off. We're going to get Michael paid up. It looks like Wally's going to buy the brass punches. And uh, I'm going to pay on my bill. He's going to order me the long extension, the half inch to three eighths locking on that and that way we won't swing a socket off we're getting that for transmission work anyway thanks for watching guys like always if you like this video hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button because why wally because it don't cost you a dime. what is it bill totally free totally free you guys have a great one catch you next time